ever wanted to learn to scuba dive but thought it might be just a little too scary? It can't be as scary as what we just saw. <laughs> uh, there are people living with various disabilities, though, who are learning to do just that. Dan Daru has more on this inspiring story from Cherry Creek. The last thing Ryan Strong thought would ever happen while chasing the wind was this. He crashed and crashed hard in 2018. Basically, I just got a little too acrobatic that day, did a trick, kind of did a 360 too close to the hill, thinking I had the height to do it. Hindsight, stupid move. <laughs> For a man with a spirit like an eagle, the thought of spending the rest of his life in a wheelchair was unthinkable. Yeah, it was a tough pill to swallow. A friend told Strong about Denver Divers and their Denver Adaptive Diver program. They teach those living with disabilities how to scuba dive. We actually started about seven years ago when one of our customers came in and gave us the suggestion. We liked the idea because we're successful shopping, we wanted to give back. And where we can give back is we can teach scuba. Denver Adaptive Divers provides open water diver certification to people with a variety of disabilities, like spinal cord injuries, MS, amputees, visually and hearing impaired, even PTSD. Ryan Strong learned to scuba. He's been at it for a couple of years now and is a certified open water diver. They're looking at potentially having the first ever adaptive dive instructor come out of this shop, and they're looking at me as a candidate. Oh, I think it's amazing when we get them in there and they find out what they can do. Dan Daru, Fox 31.